What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, what I have for y'all today is I've got a little tech tip for you that where I want to show you I mean, you guys leave in the comments below if this has ever happened to you on anything with a ratchet. When you lean back and mash this button, the ratchet comes flying out. Has that ever happened to you? If you have, it sucks. I get it. Well, I'm going to show you a little quick tech tip that I've been experimenting with that has helped me keeping that stop that from happening and has been extremely helpful for me. So hopefully I can pass this on for you guys and let you see how it's done. So stick around because I think you're going to like this one. All right. What you're going to need for this hack is you're going to need a drill, some drill bit, some 550 paracord. This is probably about two foot right there. A pair of vice grip a lighter i like these torch lighters and a way of cutting the the paracord so yeah let me go ahead and show you this hack now and let's get to it i'm going to show you the system i'm talking about check this out i have a 550 paracord run through the end of my ratchet strap so let's say you push the button you lean back look how it loosens up now what it's done it's captured right there and it will not go any further so even if i try to go back further and it pulls it through I have enough here to pull it, look at that, pull it right back into place. Is that not cool right there? What a genius way to do this. So there's a there's a, a few things that people have done. I've heard of people putting a bolt, like a nut and a bolt through there. I've heard of uh, zip ties. But the problem with those is if you let it go, it gets down in there, you're still going to have to try to lock it into place. I like this paracord because of the fact that you can pull it even if I go back real far. I can still grab it and I've got something to pull onto. Let me show y'all on how to mount one of these. This is going to be overall, you're around a little over almost four inches. So you need at least four inches there. And you see how far I went. I went maybe, maybe three quarters of an inch down. I'm basically going right on the first ratchet strap. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull our ratchet strap out and you can see right there. And that's where these vice grips come in handy. You're gonna to wanna to like lock these vice grips on. Don't lock them down so tight that it that it messes up the, the ratchet. I'm just, this is really just to hold it. So you see how I have that there? And the bit that I'm using is gonna be the 1164th. We'll start with 1164th. And what I wanna do, I wanna hold it, by the way, don't do it right here on your boat like a moron and go right through your boat. I'm just gonna hold it right here and you see I'm within that first ratchet dead center. Go slow. Wallow that out a little bit. Go to your 360. And see what I'm doing? I'm upsizing my bits. I don't want to go I wanted, I wanted to get my precise hole first. Now I'm going to the 3 16 And there you go. There's that. Now what you want to do, you want to get your, your paracord. And you know, you don't have to cut it now, but let's go ahead. Let's cut about a foot and cut it at kind of an angle a little bit. And I'll show you why. Get your lighter. I want this to be a very fine point because I have to pull it through that little hole. All right, now that I have my, my cord cut there, what I want to do is kind of like clean this up a little bit. Any type of excess on there or there. Try not to cut it, by the way, or cut yourself. That might be good enough. Just any type of little excess, try to get that off of there. Now this is something you want to remember, I've done it before. You don't want to thread your, your paracord through just yet. You want, to, you want to go ahead and thread all your ratchet back through. We don't need the drill anymore, so let's set that aside. Put a little bend right here. Slide your ratchet up in there and just feed it back through. Your ratchet strap, I mean, and through. And feed it back through until you have some excess right there. Now get your, remember we cut that at a little point, so we should be able to kind of like push it through. Which side was it? Oh, that was the smaller side. So I'm just gonna like, 
push it through like that. You want it to be a little bit tight. I don't want it to be super loose going through there. That feels about right. And what did we say before about, it was about two inches. I would say around about two inches, enough where I could get two fingers, two fingers deep inside that. You want to go right there so that way if you have to kind of grab it and pull on it. So pinch it right there and just do a basic overhand knot. And you want this knot to be kind of big anyway. That way it doesn't pull through the ratchet. Pull it tight. And you can leave that tag in like that. But me personally, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tag in like this, which is around about an inch. Cut that. Get your trusted torch. You do not want to leave these ends unburned. This thing will... Because paracord goes wild. And check that out. Wow. Looky there, looky there. So, test it out. Stopped it in there. When I need to pull it back. Look at that. So there you go. You've got two little finger hooks right there. Look at that. Right there. Here it is, completed. This system has worked extremely well for keeping the ratchet straps going in and out. And when they do, it's made it easy to kind of grab them and pull them right back into place. You guys leave in the comments below what you've done to stop this, if you've done anything. Or if you'd like to see more things like this, go ahead, leave a question below, and maybe I could do my best to help you guys out. Because I really like this uh, little hack here. It works extremely well. But yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for watching, and then I'll see you guys on the river. Woo!